Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. The title of the message I'd like to share is about the message of God's salvation. Uh, many of the topic here has been already mentioned in our Sabbath lesson, as a sister already shared it to us. Uh, I have a question. Do you know that God was the first one to deliver the message of salvation before anything else? We may find out about this truth. <laughs> Shall we read about uh, the scripture reading, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, 17? Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, 17. And you can read all together. All the scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for correction of our fruit, for instruction in righteousness. Is it working? I don't think it was. Okay. okay. Uh, that the man of God may be perfect, totally promised unto all good works. Okay. The question is. What does it say about the scriptures? It was given by inspiration of God. And what was the purpose by giving that inspiration? It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Is there any other purpose that we may find here? Yes, there is. That the man of God may be complete totally equipped for every good works. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are so grateful and thankful of God for having us here in the fellowship in this place that we may be able to bring to you our uh, thanksgiving, our cheerfulness, because we know and we believe that you are our God, a living God, who can be able to support us, encourage us, inspire us, in every situation that we may be able to encounter in this life. Give us the wisdom and understanding, heart of God, for this I pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Okay. Let us see another picture from the book of Romans about the scriptures. Romans 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written upon time were written for our learning, that through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope. Uh, the book of Timothy states that it was written for equipping us for every good work. The book of Romans is saying about learning, patience, and comfort of the scriptures that we might have hope. In all of this input, what significance are they dealing with? The answer is, it's all about the scriptures. It's all about the Word of God, the Bible itself. Ephesians chapter 6, 11, 17, saying that uh, being equipped and having hope of the scriptures can only be found to nothing else but by putting on the armor of God, which is the very Word of God, the Bible. Remember John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. If we study the Scriptures, we study the Word of God, for He is the living Word. John 1, 14, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Mm. Amen. To study the life of God, we need to know who really Jesus is. Apostle Paul decided to know Jesus no matter whatever happened to his life. It may cause his own life, his very own life, just to know Jesus Christ who really is. He is willing to sacrifice his life for Christ. Philippians 3.10, Paul is saying that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death. Mm. Praise God. Paul was willing to suffer his life 
for Christ. To know Christ is to look at Jesus Christ upon the cross and the resurrection power that made us a bona fide children, sons, and daughters of a living God. Amen. Please do remember that word. Bona fide children, sons, and daughters of a living God. <laughs> through a great love and forgiveness by the death of our Savior. The question is, are we willing, like Apostle Paul, are we ready to suffer for Christ? The answer can only be found in how much do we really love Jesus? Luke chapter 9, verse 23, 24, and he said unto them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Amen. Following Christ is beneficial, though it's not easy. But just think about heaven as a great reward. If we really want to know Christ, we need to dig more of his study with the Word of God. John chapter 5, verse 20, 39, Jesus said, Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. We need to dig more of the scriptures like a hidden treasure hid in the field. And when you found it, surely you will be filled with good wisdom and good understanding through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And you will go forth with utmost desire to share the gospel of Christ that brings salvation. Hmm. Let us look at uh, Isaiah 52, verse 7. Let us see what it says here. 